it going ladies and gentlemen today we're back in yet another video and in this video i'm going to be giving you guys some tips that you guys can help to improve your youtube channel and expand it as a good quality channel overall um so i have about 16 tips here that i would like to tell you guys just some of my personal tips and some other tips that i figure that you guys should know if you guys are trying to run a successful channel um now the first tip here is never to use sub for sub it definitely gives you some pretty inactive subs that are never gonna watch your videos and you guys just try and get caught up in the numbers you guys want 10,000 subscribers but in reality only 20 of them actually watch your videos and someone can determine that by looking at your view count if you go on somewhere and say oh yeah I've got 20,000 subs and you only get maybe like 500 views a month no you, you definitely don't have 20,000 subscribers you've more got about a hundred that don't even watch your videos so um, that's definitely something that you guys need to think about and never use sub for sub just just don't do whatever because it's really just a horrible way no don't these tips are definitely not coming from the most popular youtuber because I'm definitely not the most popular youtuber um, I don't have many subscribers or anything like that so i'm not saying that i'm a really good youtuber or anything like that because i need to work on a lot of these things myself and these some things i definitely do just need to work on so um that's just, these tips just aren't coming from the best so the next tip is focus on collabing with other youtubers it's a good way to get constructive feedback on your videos so don't pester your, like bigger youtubers like sky just minecraft or anything like that if you're a minecraft channel and you just really want to collab with them because that's never going to happen it's just really annoying sometimes to different people if you're just pestering them and pestering them so it's something that you never try to want to do so number three is you guys are going to want to set goals for your channel example set video or say that next video i'm gonna have an hd video or i'm gonna have really good microphone quality and i'm not gonna bump my mic ever i'm gonna turn on down the mic quality or the mic volume and get like a pop filter so my p's and my stuff like that don't sound as bad and make the mic just really muffled or anything like that so and also if you film vlogs or something like that make sure you have sufficient lighting because your videos will just be really dark or something like that if you guys are doing trying to do a face cam make sure you have a good lighting or something just to make everything look a lot better and more pleasing to the eye because that's definitely something that I am um, as a viewer I want a good video if like someone's got a face cam and I can't even see their face that's not a face cam to me that's just a trashy video and they're not putting any effort into it so that's something that I'm completely uh, I completely go for is good quality and that's what everybody goes for if you're a viewer on YouTube um so one number four is I want you guys to show up appreciation for those who watch your videos and give you feedback on them your success is definitely completely dependent on them uh, because if without your viewers you wouldn't have any viewers i guess if that that's pretty like obvious i guess you could say that and it makes total sense if you're trying to like simplify these as most as i can or as much as i can to make these the most sense i think that one's pretty pretty bare to the bones because it's like yeah you wouldn't have anybody without anybody i guess for that to put it a good way so number five make special videos for special events for example at 400 subs i'm gonna do like a big setup video or maybe a big long live stream or something like that and that's just something that you guys should do and you should try to reward your subscribers and viewers and everything like that and your commenters or if you run like a blogging site or something like that you could also take some of these tips and use them for that if you would wish to number six ask for constructive feedback and if someone does give you constructive feedback saying that your microphone is too loud and you just turn it down a bit and just like lay off don't get so butthurt because someone tells you something that's they're trying to help you um so don't get so butthurt when someone does that tip number seven don't get caught up in the numbers because i know a lot of people out there definitely do get caught up in the numbers they're always bragging about having, having so many subscribers and when in reality they only have five or six that actually watch their videos and that's something that i don't like if you guys aren't going to watch my videos do not subscribe go ahead and click that unsubscribe button and i'll meet you at the door because i don't want you here you guys are just going to be there it's a really way or it's a really bad way to successfully gauge how many subscribers you actually had because there's so many unactive people that do they watch one video oh yeah i guess i'll subscribe to you and they never watch another video so that's something that i personally like is not having inactive subscribers it better gauges how many subscribers that you actually had um so i think that's a really faulty way is subscribing um, but your views are actually what you need to look at um, that's just definitely the, the good way to gauge a good video or a good channel is looking at the views and not their subscriber count because a lot of people do get caught up in the numbers and that's something that I'm trying to definitely do myself so not get caught up in the numbers don't get so discouraged by how many little subs you have or how many you do have views are definitely the only thing that matters um, number eight keep doing YouTube or anything else that you enjoy like a vlogging site or a blog um, definitely just do it because you enjoy it not because you feel like you have to I game because I completely get submerged in the game and I'm not thinking about anything else while I'm gaming. I'm only thinking about that game and strategies for that game and how I can best beat that game. I'm not thinking about how much chicken's in the fridge downstairs or something like that. I don't know. Um, but just only, I'm like completely submerged in that game. That's why I completely enjoy gaming. Viewers can definitely sense it in your voice. When you're enjoying yourself, you're just dragging yourself along. You're just dragging yourself along. I can tell by how mopey you sound and how unenthusiastic you are um, by just, just your voice and how your video turns out in general. Um, that would probably going to definitely
definitely turn most people away when they're watching a video. Um, if Unless you are truly good at faking it and faking like you're having a good time, then most people are just going to turn in their nose and walk away. Number nine, you're not, don't feed the trolls. You never want to feed the trolls because when someone says that your video sucks, they're just completely jealous of your ability to make better videos than them. And that's, that's what completely what hate comments mean is they're completely jealous of you and just don't dwell over what they see, even though it may be hard to not dwell on what they say because I've had that issue before in the past. So I'll leave a hate comment and then I'll get, I'll like in the spur of the moment, I'll be like, yeah, bro, you can just go away. Just stop. Just leave right now. And I'll be, I mean, and like 20 minutes later, I'll be like, wow, like I just, he's probably just really jealous of me. And then I look at his channel and he's just jealous. He's completely jealous. So don't over schedule yourself is my number 10 tip. You say you're going to upload 10 videos a day and you actually can only upload, upload not even one video because you got some big event that day. Don't definitely don't over schedule yourself. I know I've done this before too. I'll say, yeah, I'm going to upload two videos a day. And yeah, I upload like three three weeks so that's definitely that's that's not an easy thing to do is um to schedule yourself and say you're gonna do something and keep to an exact schedule because yeah, i mean don't lie we've all done it before and you just can't it, it's hard to not do it i guess you could put it that way um so tip number 11 is growing your youtube channel is a big commit don't half-ass a video just to get it done my general rule of thumb is if i wouldn't watch that video i throw in the trash can and i try it again always have a good title that relates to your video and explains what is it is about for example if you have a minecraft video title green explodey thing that's a horrible title and it explains nothing about your video here's a good one exploding creeper minecraft episode number three i mean that's a good title that explains completely what your video is about it's it's about you exploding a creeper and it's episode number three of minecraft so i mean that's definitely a good way to have people watch your videos and get them into your videos because if i'm just scrolling through the minecraft videos if i search up funny minecraft video and i see green explodey thing that's not about minecraft it doesn't say it's about minecraft so definitely want to really title your videos and that's a good way to get people to watch your videos tip number 12 include thumbnails oftentimes I would just scroll through my thumb my sub box and look at the thumbnails and when I see one that catches my eye I look at it who made it in the title and most of the time I watch if there's no thumbnail or it's just some automatically picked thumbnail from YouTube that I don't I just don't watch it because it doesn't really tell me what the video is about most of the time I try to include thumbnails and sometimes you guys are just like lazy and I know I've done it before and I've just been lazy and I'm like well I don't really want to make a thumbnail because then I get open up Photoshop and I gotta make a thumbnail and that takes 10 to 15 minutes in itself but definitely try to make a thumbnail when you can it definitely includes and tells you people what your video is about and everything like that so definitely try and make a thumbnail if you can if you have the proper tools to number 13 proper tag most people forget about tags but they are extremely helpful for search engine optimization also known as seo um for example when someone searches for a funny minecraft video and your tags are saw purple screwdriver they're not gonna find your funny minecraft video don't just put in like random words or anything like that in your tag box because that doesn't tell you what your video is about and seo is a really important important thing that most people need to start paying more attention to. Tag your videos properly, otherwise no one else is going to find them. And that's against the terms of service of YouTube, is improperly tagging your videos, like including bigger YouTubers in your tags just so you can get more views and people to find it, because that's that's not the way to go. Include proper tags, otherwise you're not going to get any views, because no one will be able to find your video. Number 14, annotations. Don't be so lazy and not put annotations. If somebody says there's going to be a link on the screen, and I normally mouse over where they say the annotation will be, and there isn't one, I most of the time just won't often find find that where they said they wanted me to go using that annotation, I just won't go there because I don't know where it's at. Um, so you guys may say that's lazy, but that's definitely something that I think that they're being lazy for, is not being able to include the annotation that definitely helps you in your video. Um, it's definitely gonna help you in the long run, and always try to include annotation. If you don't get the annotations up right away or anything like that, that's not a big deal. If, do if you don't get the annotations up in the first 20 minutes of having a video, then just put them up in the next hour or so if you can. Just try and get them up as fast as you can, because that definitely helps people. If you have an outro or something like that because I know I have an outro and I just always try to have the annotations there because people go and try and click on where it says last video or whatever and there's no annotation there yeah that like oh man this guy forgot it Ooh, he's probably like lazy and just doesn't put any quality into his videos so I'm not gonna watch anymore and that's kind of the trail of thought that most people have that so I'm swiftly moving on to topic number 15 and that is using the proper software you can only get so far with everywhere and that's free software and you're going to improve your video quality if you want people to continue watching them. if you need to spend time on your videos and make them as best as they can or your fans are going to be or your fans aren't going to be the best they can be so that's definitely a big thing um that you guys need to need to think about is having you know like a five dollar capture card that doesn't record in hd or anything like that if i watch a video and someone doesn't know how to properly use their mic or something like that and it just hurts my ears plain old and i can't even hear them then i'm not gonna watch that video because these people don't know how to use it and they're, they're just bad so that's something that definitely needs to be worked out if you guys are trying to run a proper youtube channel is getting the quality up in using 
using the proper tools to get the quality up. Um, number 16 is set a schedule. YouTube is broken that day, in which it often is, and you upload a video at a random time, people are going to see it. And so, so set a schedule, for example, that you're going to upload every Wednesday at 12 o'clock, and people are going to look for that video on Wednesday at 12 o'clock. It, it obviously should make sense. I'm trying to dumb these tips down as best as I can, because um, most of the time YouTube just doesn't work, and the sub boxes don't work, so just try and include a set schedule, and I need to work on some of these things myself. So I'm looking at these conclusion here, and conclusion, I do need to work on some of these tips myself, and just try and get them down as fast as I can, and then once you get all these tips down, just keep at it, just keep doing it, just always keep doing it, otherwise, no, just, just keep doing it, don't quit, you can always do something if you set your mind to it. So I hope these tips made sense to you guys, and you can use them as best to your ability. If you guys have any questions about these tips, or you guys have any more tips that I did not mention, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below, or tweet me at carbar the 66 if you want to collab with me or anything like that. If you guys make similar content to me, then definitely do that. I wish you and the channel your best, and have a nice day.